Hello, this is Brother Cromer from the Math Department, and this is a continuation of Lesson 2. And this will be a short video for Part 2 dealing with Lesson 2, and it's basically dealing with design of experiments. There's a few uh, vocabulary terms that you should understand about design of experiments. First of all, what are the subjects? The subjects are basically the persons or objects in the study. The response variable is the variable of interest, and then the treatment groups is the variables that describe or explain the changes in the response variable. So for instance, if you wanted to check to see if a vaccination was working, you can take the vaccination and compare it to placebo and say you want to try it out on, on American children. The subjects in this case are the American children. The response variable could be is, did the vaccination work or not after a, say, six to 12 month period? Did, was there, is there a greater percentage in the control versus the, um, the treatment group in terms of the, the people who are children who have the disease? And the treatment group is basically the uh, control group as well as the vaccination group. Now there's three different principles in dealing with experimental design. First one is uh, the control. Control any possible lurking variables that, that could be out there that you don't want to get those in there to mix up your results. Randomize. You want to randomize, for instance, with the children uh, the example that I gave earlier. You want to randomize who gets the treatment and who gets the, the, the control, who's in the control group or who's in the treatment group. And then replicate, have as many subjects in each treatment or in the control group as possible, the more the better. Now the example, the Dr. Salk, uh, where he invented the polio vaccination, this is a classic case of, a, of how to do a design experiment. He did a double blind study where he had a placebo group, where he randomly chose a bunch of children, one to go to the vaccination group to get the polio vaccination, the other to take the placebo. And after a certain period of time, they were, it was determined whether or not the vaccination worked. And so after a period of time, it was determined uh, overwhelmingly that, the, that the, the incidence of polio were much less in the vaccination group versus the control group, and so the vaccination worked. So this is a classic case of ex design experiment and how effective it can work and how effective it can, it can bless the lives of people. And that concludes the Lesson 2 videos. Um, uh, and that concludes the Lesson 2 videos.